Hello friends. My name is Neha Deshpande and I work at the Science Activity Center at ICER Pune. Today we will talk about sound and its production and how we can teach this topic to the students of 7th grade using hands-on activities. This lesson was developed by Trupti Chavan from Bharat Vidyalay. She conducted this lesson in her classroom and shared her experiences with us. We will also discuss those today. Before we start teaching this lesson, we have to make sure that the students know about states of matter, vibrational motion and sound as a form of energy. Through this lesson, the students will be able to define sound, understand that sound is produced when something vibrates, describe the process by which sound is produced and propagated. We can begin with an activity of straw flute which can be a very good attention grabbing activity. For this, we need a straw and a pair of scissors. Take a straw and cut one end in V shape. Flatten the V shape and put the end to your mouth. Now blow through this and listen to the sound produced by the straw. Cut the small pieces off and carefully notice the change in the pitch. They might guess that they are going to study about different musical instruments. Make sure that we tell the students about the concept of sound waves in the flute before we facilitate the discussion towards production of sound. For this, we can do the next activity. We can ask the students to close their eyes and listen carefully to the music being played. The music needs to be a mix of different instruments. We can ask the students what are the sounds they are hearing. The students might guess the names of a few instruments and we can ask them to describe these sounds. It is a good idea to note down the words the students are using to describe these sounds. We can also ask them how is the sound produced in each of these instruments. Since the first activity talks about the origin of sound, we can now emphasize on what exactly produces sound. For this, we can do the next activity. For this activity, we need two ice cream sticks, a thin paper strip, two rubber bands, two match sticks. Place a paper strip on the ice cream stick. Place another stick on the top. Tie rubber bands on both ends. Place two match sticks between the ice cream sticks towards the ends. Next to the rubber bands. Blow through the two sticks. In this particular toy, we can ask them where the sound is originating from. The students are already familiar with the types of motions, so they might respond by saying that the vibrational motion of the paper strip is producing sound. We can relate this knowledge of production of sound with the musical instruments that we heard earlier. We can also talk about how vibrations produce sound. In the next activity, we can ask the students to look at pictures of different musical instruments or hear the sounds made by these instruments. This can be done in the form of a video or the live instruments being played in front of the students as per your convenience. Based on the observations, we can ask them to note down the similarities and differences between the instruments. Additionally, we can ask them what is vibrating in each instrument to produce sound. Once they think about this question, we can ask them if it is possible to make their own musical instrument and would they like to do that. This will lead us to our next activity. For this activity, we need a ballpoint pen refill, an old sketch pen or marker, a balloon, a film canister, a rubber band and a pair of scissors. Make a hole in the base of the plastic box and another hole near the top to insert the refill. Make two holes in an old sketch pen using scissors. Stretch the piece of the torn balloon over the mouth of the box. Secure it with a rubber band. Insert the sketch pen in the hole at the base of the plastic box and insert the pen refill in the hole on the side of the plastic box. Blow through the horizontal refill and create the sound.
This activity gives the students a truly hands-on experience of producing sound. After they are done playing with this musical toy, we can ask them what exactly in this toy is producing sound. After this, we can discuss with them the possibility of creating different kinds of sounds and if it can be done. As closure, we can ask them to write down the answers to the following questions. How is sound produced in a straw flute? How is sound produced in a string instrument? What conditions are necessary for producing sound? There are a few elaboration activities that you can do in the classroom or in off periods. There is one such activity in which you can produce sound by using just a glass and some water. Fill a glass half with water. Wet the rim of the glass with water and run your fingers over it to hear a musical sound. What is the source of sound in this model? And encourage further discussion about it. Through these activities, we talked about how sound is produced through vibrations and what is the working principle of different musical instruments. This activity-based approach will not only help your students understand the concept better, but also help them enjoy it in the process. More such activities are given in the text lesson plan, the link for which is given in the description of this video. Please try these activities in your class and let us know your experience. Thank you for watching.